Are you ready to make some monkey bread? Yeah, first things first, you gotta get a Walmart though. Now we get butter. All right, butter into the cart. Let's go. Next ingredient is some light brown sugar. <laughs> Ingredient ground cinnamon. Um, and I'm going to be doing a demonstration on how to make monkey bread. Have you come to college and craved something sweet but wasn't able to make it because there, we only have a microwave? Well, what if I told you I could fix that? Being down here, I have learned to make many different things in the microwave. But my all-time favorite is monkey bread. It's fairly simple to make at a decently inexpensive cost. In this presentation, I will demonstrate how to make monkey bread in the microwave in a few easy steps. All right, so first things first is we have to wash our hands before we start preparing the food. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna get a microwavable safe bowl. This is a glass bowl, a regular bowl, the butter, the brown sugar, cinnamon, and then I had to improvise because apparently Walmart is out of what we normally use. I normally use the um, biscuit, it's just like biscuit dough, the one that comes in like the twisty container. Um, but they had this, so I'm gonna improvise and use that instead. So what you wanna do first is we're actually going to make this mixture. I eyeball it. The recipe actually calls for three tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a third cup of brown sugar. I eyeball it since I have made it so many times. So I just get the butter. And I normally make two batches of this because in that way you get it both on the bottom as the bread as the bread's baking as well as on the top after. Alright. So Pour some brown sugar in there. And then you get the cinnamon. And you don't want too much, but you want enough where you can taste it. And I like to add a little bit of regular sugar, just granulated sugar. All right, and then you get a mixture of what looks like this. And what we're going to do is come over to the microwave and we just place this right in. And you cook it for about a minute and a half. And while we're waiting, we're gonna get the dough prepared. All right, so we're gonna get the dough ready. So it comes just like this. If I would normally have, it would be like a red, like a yellow container. But this, we open from here. 
These get me every single time. And just like that. And this one comes rolled up already like pre-cut and everything but it kind of takes away the fun from it. It looks like this. Normally it's just like it looks like biscuits and I pull them apart myself. But with these it comes with these. So you're gonna get your last bowl and along the seams just roll it up into a ball and put it into the baking dish. Okay now once that we have, the, uh, have that all done we're gonna come back to the microwave and get our little mixture out. It should look like this. And we are going to put the dough into the microwave. So we're taking this dough over to the microwave. And we'll put it in for about five minutes to start. Actually, I lied. I lied. We gotta put this sauce over top of it first. So you get your spoon, get your sauce, so that it's not clumpy anymore. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's kind of like a soup. Um, and then you just kind of drizzle it over top. I'm gonna make sure you scrape it all out. Because there's going to be some excess brown sugar, cinnamon on the bottom. Okay. Now, once you do that, you're going to take your bowl with the dough and your mixture and put it into the microwave for about five minutes. Once five minutes is up, we'll come back and we'll check on it. All right, so that five minutes was up. So we are going to go ahead and take it out of the microwave. Look at that. Now it is a little bit warm. So I'm going to get a cloth. All right, so that's what it looks like. It is not fully done yet, but in this stage, what we're gonna do is give it a little stir. And you wanna try and like make sure it stays broken up a little bit so it doesn't form one big clump. So like these pieces here, I'm just gonna break that up. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another batch of that sauce. So you gotta get your butter, your um, cinnamon, brown sugar, and you're gonna melt that all up into the microwave. And I actually went ahead and already did it, just to make things go a little bit faster, but it's the same exact mixture that we did previously. All right, so you just wanna make sure that it is all mixed up and that it just looks like one solid mixture not anything separated and again we're just going to drizzle it right on top if you see any place that's kind of bare try and put it on that specific location And then again, just dump it all in 
And this will help everything fully get covered and stick together. Okay. So once we have this, still a little bit more. We're going to go back to the microwave. Give me one second. Okay, back to the microwave. Microwave. And it goes. All right. And then we're gonna put it in for about three minutes this time. And then in about three minutes, I'll be back and I'll show you what to do from there. All right, so time is up. We are going to well, pull this out. covered and I have this lid which I'm going to put on I'm going to put this lid on top and since it is so hot I'm going to use this towel and just flip it over and kind of shake it to get everything broken up covered all right and I like to leave it sit upside down so that everything gets covered. Like you can see like everything's falling to the top and it's gonna get covered. And then we let it sit for probably about 15, 20 minutes and let it cool and then it's ready to eat. I'll come back in about that amount of time and I'll show you what the end, end result looks like. All right, so it's been about 15-ish, 20 minutes. So we're gonna come back. It over and take this lid off. And this is what it looks like right now. And what we're gonna do is take this in, let's give it a little bit of a stir, get everything broken up and covered. And then it is good to eat. And that is how you make monkey bread in roughly half an hour. Monkey bread, good.